My name is Boaz, I'm an engineer, and I have an issue. This wallet sucks. I think that has two big issues. One, it only fits three cards. That's fine for some situations. For me specifically, it is not okay. That's because I travel a lot and sometimes I gotta use an ATM. I'm okay with it not carrying cash, but I gotta use an ATM sometimes. Second issue, you can't get cards out of here if your hands are even the least bit sweaty. You're supposed to swipe down on the back of the cards through this small little hole in the back, which is fine most of the time. But if your hands are sweaty, your hands are wet, you just wash your hands, whatever else, it's very difficult to get cards out. And that's been very stressful a couple of times at TSA or wherever else where there's people behind you, you're trying to pay, but you can't pay. <laughs> um, so what I want to do is make a wallet that fits at least four cards and is easy to get the cards out of without having to have dry fingers. So yeah, I'm going to try to do that and also has to be MagSafe because I'm just trying to drop it in and ideally it'd be close to the same size, maybe a little bit larger because of four cars. Here are my previous designs. This is one of my initial ones. It is basically just printed all at one time together and then I pause the print whenever it goes past this magnet in order to be able to insert it. So printing from this orientation up and there's a couple issues with that. Um, you may be able to see that the Bridging on the inside of that is just not very good. You can see filament actually falling down out of the hole right here. And then moving forward, I was able to just continue to refine this. But the solution really is just doing something about these massive bridges that are happening. And I think that I'm doing something I haven't seen too much of on YouTube so far, which is printing this 3D printed piece flat, inserting the magnet, printing on top of the magnet and then inserting that into a printed from this is the bottom straight up part and then printing over the 3D printed part, which does work and is able to reduce all of those ugly inner lines from the bridging entirely. And this is just a nice smooth surface. The issue I'm having now is, as you can see, this is inside two parts and it's supposed to be attached by the filament there on top, but it's not a very strong connection. So that's one of the things I'm trying to look at in CAD right now. One of the issues with the previous designs was just retention. If you put a card in, there was nothing holding it in. So you put the card in, if you turn your phone upside down, it just falls right out. Card in, card out. It's definitely an issue and that's something I'm going to have to look at resolving, but I think I have a solution. And that's going to be including this right here, which is a money clip. If you have a money clip like this, you can attach it to your cards and now it doesn't go anywhere. And if you pull on it or you push on it, like inside of a MagSafe wallet, it should just come right out is the idea. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into CAD. I'm going to design a new back for this that has space for a money clip on it, print it out. And then we're going to take a look at it, see if it's going to be good enough to solve our problems or if I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board entirely. All right. So it's been about 22 minutes and I finished up what I want to do with the CAD, I think. So basically the original design was this and it does not have room for the money clip or anything, but all in all, other than the whole cards just fall out of it, it works pretty well. This is the insert. And then on the new design, I had to make the insert significantly longer. So it goes from this to a lot longer here. And there's now room for the money clip, although it does overlap with the thumb hole just a little bit here. I also, to try to address the issue of not being able to access the cards if your hands are sweaty, added a slot here. So you should be able to push up on the bottom of the card here and then push it out that way. It is thicker than I want it to be. And that's something that I can try to resolve here inside of future designs. But this is just going to be an initial test to see if it works and then kind of go from there. All right. So I have the magnets here. And the next step is actually installing the magnets here into the thing. So got the magnet. I'm going to try to just slide it right in there. Slaps down nice. And then I have the other one here, grab that, then slide that in right there. 
And then you can just press resume on the screen and it should go ahead and start it. And I can just print right there over the top of it. So the print is done. I'm gonna to try to take that off now. All right, so I got the money clip. I got the 3D printed piece with the slot here for it. And all I'm gonna do is just put it right here with some super glue. And hopefully that'll be good enough in order to have it work. 10, 1000. That seems to be on there. Hopefully it didn't get in there with the uh, the magnets and everything, but it looks like it came on pretty clean. And here's it on the phone. It looks pretty clean. If you just wanted to have one card on here, then. But that comes out pretty easy just using your phone, I guess. So that could be bad. So it's been a couple minutes. I'm going to install this into the print, or at least try to. So hopefully you can see that well enough. I'm trying to slide that down into the print. And that looks pretty good right there. Okay, so now I go over here, I resume it. It's gotta get the nozzle back up to temperature, but just running my fingers over the edges there. That should be good enough for it to just go right over the top of it. And I'm really liking how the transparent blue looks. I think it's gonna come out pretty good. Okay, the print just finished up. Looks really good. I'm excited to actually be able to play around with this. So we're done printing. This is the final product. And personally, I think it looks pretty good for what level of a prototype it is. Right now there's an issue of if you just press up on it just by itself, all four cards, I put four cards inside of here, are gonna go up at the same time, which that is an issue. But you can resolve it by just kind of putting your finger there over the gap and then you can go one by one with it and it only takes up one card at a time if your fingers are dry enough for it to just kind of go one at a time, which, not the best solution. Ideally, the user wouldn't have to have their finger there on that gap, um, but it is a bit of a solution for now. It's also quite thick. Um, the inside of it is wider than it needs to be, and four cards is the limit currently. I tried putting five cards in, and it didn't really like that. But for what it is, I think this is definitely a step in the right direction, and I'm excited to see where it goes from here. Also, let me demo the uh, the corner ability there. So a second ago, a little bit uh, difficult to get the card out, but if you just push it on the corner here, you can get the cards out just like that and then just manually sort through it. So you got options there, which is better than <laughs> the actual MagSafe wallet where it can just be very difficult to get the cards out. Um, putting it on the back of the phone, let me show you that. I think it looks pretty good personally. It is thicker than I would like it to be. It's about as thick as the phone versus the standard Apple MagSafe wallet, which is maybe half of that thickness, something like that. But for what it's worth, I think that you can definitely cut this size down a little bit as well. The thickest part of it currently is going to just be that um, money clip that you can see right here on the inside of it. That's gonna be the thickest point. But after that, you can kind of curve it down especially if you're only planning to use the, uh, the four cards with it. All the files to make one of these for yourself are gonna be available on Maker World. Uh, if you're interested inside of purchasing any of the components there, that's also gonna be listed both on Maker World and then down in the description. I could talk for a long time about the different types of magnets and everything that goes into a project like this. Total Element is where I got mine, and I think that's probably the best source right now, but there's just a whole lot of stuff about Apple design documents and everything else that uh, can get very confusing quickly. So I'd recommend just buying from Total Element. It's gonna save you a massive headache. I would also suggest checking out the Onshape CAD if you're interested inside of 
modifying this design at all. I'll pull it out the version that I used uh, for this video. So if you want to make it a little bit smaller, tweak the design or anything like that, then feel free to do so. I am probably going to continue modifying this design over time. And if you're interested in having a follow-up video, just kind of see some of the improvements I mentioned, like making it easier to only push out one card at a time, uh, kind of slimming it down a little bit, possibly modifying the money clip or looking at different solutions there for attaining it. Just let me know in the comments. And I'd be happy to kind of make this into a series. Thanks for watching and I hope this is helpful.